Hey everybody, Frank from 5am Ramen here and it's premium instant ramen time. These are some of my favorites in all of Japan and basically what we're doing today, the theme is a tour of Japan. We've got a lot of tasty regional instant ramen from spicy ramen with a little bit of tomato from Miyazaki to silky rich Hakata style tonkotsu ramen. And we've even got an official premium instant ramen from Toy Box. Toy Box is a massively popular Tokyo ramen restaurant. To some people, it's number one in Tokyo. I'm super excited. Without further ado, let's dive in. Before we dive in though, I want to let you know that you can get these exact five premium instant ramen from Japan sent to you if you order from Instant Ramen Japan. Use the coupon code that you see on screen and we'll make sure to send you the exact five from this video. Full details in the description below. All right, I'm gonna give my brother a call right now. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, my Gundam Umaga bro. Hi from Baguio. Thanks for joining and you know the drill. We've got five in total I'll be eating. Two we'll be sharing on camera. I know I always say this, but these are special. We'll be starting with the light blue and this yellow one. one there. Exactly. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. It's actually a cold ramen. We're actually going to do it like they do in the ramen restaurants. We're going to boil the noodles and then we're okay. going to cool it down. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to this. Something new. Ichi. This smells divine. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, that's great. Wow. There's like a citrus there that cuts the cuts the meaty flavor and gives it like that nice refreshing cold noodles kick. You're spot on. They're using yuzu citrus here. Mmm, yeah, I can taste it. Wow, I just had a taste of the meat piece. Quite meaty, quite nice. Not what I expected. It's almost like a like a mini meatball. It's like chicken meatballs, and I think it's a good match. I'm digging this one. I'm a big fan of shio. So you have that bright, bright salt seasoning holding up that chicken and that citrus it's like the perfect summer ramen but of course you don't have to enjoy it in summer either depending on when i upload this video <laughs> got a strong garlicky kick too right garlic flavor is there it's nice man but it's not overpowering you know people think of ramen of course as noodles in soup but there are amazing soupless ramen as we're experiencing now and also even cold ramen too. The, the great thing about, you know, this cold ramen is that you can really appreciate the texture of the noodles, yeah? They're more springy, they're not cooking in that soup. Yeah, you're absolutely right, I just thought of that. And because you put the cold water in it for the preparation, I'm sure that preserves some of the springiness and uh, keeps it from getting too soft and mushy. Absolutely, it does exactly that. I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, I know, this one is honestly amazing. And as I told you in previous videos, I'm not the biggest soupless ramen fan, but I could definitely enjoy this and have this regularly. Can't stop eating it. Oh, but I gotta pace myself for the other four. Me. Okay, Mark, round two. Let me set the scene. We have here an official premium instant ramen from Toy Box. This is one coming to you from Try or Tokyo Ramen of the Year magazine. In Tri, they've been named the top ramen of any ramen category, not just shoyu ramen. And this Tri magazine is not just Tokyo, but the whole Tokyo metropolitan area. So this is a big deal, their first premium instant ramen. Wow, I'm excited, man. That was an amazing pitch. Let's get into it, woo! Yes, without further ado. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. So we've had this style before, right? Soy sauce seasons, a little tangy, a little sweet there with the soy sauce, but this beautiful whole chicken flavor and a lot of that chicken oil. That whole chicken flavor, I want to say rich, but not too rich, just, just right. It's like they've extracted it perfectly. That soup is so addictive. Oh my gosh, yeah. Seriously, oh, that's too amazing. <laughs> they brought their A game to prepare this bowl and I can tell it shows. Here we go. Here we go. Those noodles complement the soup very well. It's a match made in heaven. Two thumbs up. I agree. Toppings wise, the white and green negi there. We also have crunchy bamboo shoots, but 
Instead of a frisbee style pork chashu, we've got a square or rectangular shaped one here, right? Mmm. Wow. I like that. That's good. That one, you can honestly, you can barely tell that it's even dehydrated. That might have been the best pork chashu I've had in instant ramen. What do you think? I think you're right, dude. All right, I'm gonna have some more of the soup, man, because, yeah, the soup is unbelievable. Don't let it go to waste. I wanna bathe in it. Hmm? What? Hmm? I like the bamboo shoots, actually. I just had one. They have a nice, nice snap. Thanks so much for joining, Mark. Always a pleasure to have you on. Between the two, any preference? They're just so different. Yeah, very different and different moods. But for me, yeah, I like the second one a little bit more. I just love that whole chicken richness, you know, in the second one. So my favorite's gotta be the second one. But the first one, not that far behind, for sure. Okay, I still got a mountain to climb. Three more to go. Thanks so much for joining. I'll talk to you later. Sounds good, bro. Uh, keep sending ramen, please. And I will be happy to make these videos with you. Always enjoy them. So thank you, brother. All right, I'm on my own now for the last three rounds. And round three is gonna be Hakata style tonkotsu ramen. This is one of the best instant tonkotsu ramen I've had up to now. So good and can't wait to have it again. Just two minutes for those razor thin noodles. Okay, here we go, round three. This is a Hakata style tonkotsu ramen from the Sugomen series via the company New Touch. And I love the regional ramen. It is amazing. I've had this one before, but I am more than happy to have it again. Mm. That is such a good tonkotsu. And tonkotsu ramen outside of Hakata, for example, even in Tokyo, they really try and make it thick and super rich which honestly is not really my cup of tea. I can enjoy that once in a while, but when you go down to Hakata, it's so full of flavor without being over the top rich. Here you get a beautifully strained soup. It's so full of that pork flavor, even a little bit of that stinky funk, yet it still hits you in a very gentle way. Just such a quality konkotsu ramen in instant ramen form, just like you get in Hakata. Okay, with thin noodles, I gotta make sure I dive in quickly so they don't get soggy. Look how razor thin these are compared to most of the instant ramen we've had in these videos. Super firm, wiry. I feel like I'm in Hakata. The sesame seeds in the soup give it a little bit of nuttiness and the negi a little bit of sweetness. Besides that, we've got a nice slab of chashu pork here. Pork ramen, it's gotta be pork as a topping. I mean, most ramen, pork is the topping. Oh, that's good as always. Now, tonkotsu ramen is actually a ramen style that I probably eat the least of, but every time I go down to Kyushu, specifically Fukuoka, now within Fukuoka, Hakata, I go crazy for the ramen down there because it's such a deep part of their, their existence even. Ramen is such a big deal down there. Whether it's the food stalls, how visiting a ramen restaurant is often a family affair, you can just feel how much they love their ramen down in Hakata. And again, it doesn't need to be a super over the top pork bone ramen that you might get in Kurume next door or here in Tokyo when they're really trying to have this like thick and rich tonkotsu ramen. This is perfect. All right, next up we've got Miyazaki Karamen. I've had this style even in Miyazaki before, but it's not as well known as other styles. And here they're adding tomatoes to it for an accent and some sourness. That's what it says here on the packaging. And on a spice level of five, it's all the way at five. Okay, here we are. It looks very Christmassy with the green garlic chives and the dark red soup color. Oh my goodness. And I'm not drinking straight from the bowl here. I'm going to be using a spoon just in case because I haven't tried this one before. So I am a little cautious as to how spicy it might be. <clears throat> it is spicy. You know, to some people it might not be five. To other people, yeah, it's definitely five but it's definitely spicy. And it's spicy coming from all that togarashi. There's a crazy amount of it, but it's also tasty with that soy sauce, giving it a tangy quality and some acidity coming from the tomatoes, which actually goes really well with it. So in other words, it's not just spicy. I think I passed the soup test. If you can handle the soup by itself, it's gonna be more manageable when you're slurping the noodles. 
nice with the noodles, not as spicy. And there are even little bits of tomato toppings that you can pick up. There's fluffy egg, the garlic chives again, and it all goes very well together. I would say the noodles though, they're still very good, but they're not as good as the previous three that we had. And I'm not talking about thickness or thinness. They're just a little bit more instant ramen e. But the soup is great, and I wanted the spicy one to wake me up before that final round. And I'm very happy to see Miyazaki Karamen in premium instant ramen form. Again, I don't think I've seen this before. When I have seen it, it's been like the cheaper ones, not the nicer quality instant ramen. And down in Miyazaki, it's kind of a thing where they have a ridiculous scale of spiciness. You can choose from one up to, oh my God, I don't even know, maybe like up to 50 or something like that. Here, we're already starting at five out of five, but I think if you're used to spice, this one's definitely manageable. Or just make sure to have some milk nearby. And if you're not that big on spicy food and you order this pack, please make a note in the order that you don't want this one, we'll be happy to replace it with another one. Or maybe you have a partner that would eat this, even if you're not big on spice. But if you are big on spice, this is a great soup. All right, we've got a little coffee, or I should say latte break. Mm. Has a nice cool down effect too after that spicy ramen. People often ask like, how do you stay so skinny after eating all this ramen? And the short answer is that I just have a really good editing software. I'm actually about 100 kilos, but every time I record a video, the end result is this. So in all seriousness, I was thinking about maybe making a video about this, like how I'm able to eat ramen every day and still stay relatively in shape. It's been on my to-do list for some time, but if this is the sort of video you want to see, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to make this video and I'll bump it up the list in terms of its release. How I'm able to eat ramen every day and stay in shape and not get that big. Okay, coffee break, almost over. I guess I got some to still finish, but final round will be Shinshu Miso Ramen. Shinshu is arguably the most famous type of miso in Japan. It's up in Nagano. I've had this instant ramen before and it beautifully showcases Shinshu Miso and has some toppings you don't normally see in ramen. Let's go, final round. Shinshu miso ramen. Oh, what a beautiful miso aroma. It's such an amazing miso flavor. From this company, this might be my favorite miso ramen. It's hard to say. I ate another one of the miso ramen. I'm like, oh, that's my favorite. But this one, oh my God, it's so good. The flavor of the Shinshu miso is so deep and it's just such a bold, but elegant miso flavor. Okay, I can't wait. Gotta dive into the noodles. Now, these are thicker noodles. Oh yeah, just enough richness in the soup. And besides the miso, you've got just enough spice coming from shichimi and also aonori, which are floating around here. Chicken, meatballs, we're seeing these again. Really nicely seasoned and shimeji mushrooms from Nagano, where Shinshu Miso is from. And when you have those mushrooms alongside the miso, it has this overall earthy flavor as a result. Very earthy, very grounded, if you will. And I think that really encapsulates this whole Nagano theme. When I think of Nagano, it's a part of the country where they have such pure, fresh water flowing through mountain streams. Beautiful food as a result of that fresh water. Everything is so fresh and I get that here. It's earthy, it's fresh, it's a wonderful miso ramen. And also among toppings are nozawa na, which are also famous in Nagano. Mm. And here they're pickled. Oh wow, that's crazy how they have nozawa na in ramen. I used to go up to Nagano a lot as a kid and we would always buy nozawa na. This is a Nagano ramen to the max. More of that mozawa na here as I get some of those noodles. Thick, slippery, and firm noodles. Oh, it was a great one to end with. Okay, we just enjoyed five of my favorite instant ramen. Of course, some of them I hadn't tried before and they were all so good in their own different ways. Hard for me to pick a favorite. So let me know, did you have a favorite from the five? And as a friendly reminder, you're welcome to order these exact five using the coupon code below on screen when you order the premium instant ramen pack from Instant Ramen Japan. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next ramen video. Thank you for joining. Here we go, bro. Let's do this.
Let's go. Oh, the instructions are on the back here. Oh. So the staff, there's like a jack in the box, right? That's if you opened a ramen shop. That's not toy box. That's called <laughs> Frank's Ramen Shop. Frank's I don't think twisted, anyone would. Twisted no one would I'll, I'll be your only customer. Spread the word. Spread <laughs> the word to yourself. Spread the word to mom and dad, yeah. <laughs> This smells so good. No soup, so let's dive straight into the noodles. Here we go. Let's get a shot. The noodles are thick here um, for, you know, for... Um, the mass cover. Yeah. Wait, no shadow on my face there. Sounds good, bro. Keep sending ramen, please, and I will keep keep making these videos. Keep... Thank... <laughs> <laughs>